Well, if you look at the results over 2022, they are basically a tribute to BNP Paribas. BNP Paribas being a very solid bank, close to its customers, with a multitude of, of services. And if you look at it, just it basically across all our services. So the top line is up 9%. We operate with positive jaws. Cost of risk is low at 31 basis points over outstanding. And therefore, the bottom line up 7.5%. So it's basically the bank is very well diversified, is off to a very good start of its plan. And basically, that is what we see. So it's basically across all of those services that we see this growth. Can we look specifically at CIB? Of course, very good again in Q4, revenue up 18.2%. Um, equities, though, is one that's been going down. Even though it's, it's one of part of the business where you've been investing heavily and pushing quite heavily. So how do you see the activity going within this part, specific part of the business? Yeah, if you look at it, our CIB is very well diversified, right? We are in fixed income, we are in equities, we are in corporate banking. And so what typically is, there can be one quarter or another, there can be more demand in fixed income, or there can be more uh, demand in prime markets, or there can be more in equity. And so that's a bit how things go up and down. What is very important for us is that we really step up our market share. And if you compare the performance on those three divisions in the fourth quarter with our peers, you clearly see that we outperform. Say that your full year cost of risk was at 2.9 billion euros, was bang on with uh, expectations. Um, looking into 23, how do you see the macro environment? Uh, so we're going to see a soft landing in the US and in Europe. Is that what you're looking at? Is that going to allow you to release some of the provisions? Yeah, we, we basically, the, 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 we qualify whatever is happening as look through. What I mean by that is it's going to take maybe one, two quarters. It could be a slowdown. It could be a stagnation. It could be, but it should be of short in duration and then business should pick up. And so that is why if you look at that and if you look at our clients, which are basically the large corporates, they are very well diversified. So on the side of BNP Paribas, we don't expect any material pickup in cost of risk. And that's why we've guided across all of the years to come that our cost of risk would be below 40 basis points, which is already what you saw in 2020 too. And that is what we expect going forward.